Well, you know, one of the almost magical things that Pope Francis has managed to do in a very short period of time, personally speaking, is if you were raised in the Catholic faith by two very devout Catholic parents, my mother was a daily communicant, taught in parochial school for years and years and years, and if you went to parochial school and sort of drifted away from the church in a sense and then experienced reading about and participating in uh, secondhand all of the horrendous stories of, of sexual abuse by priests, then suddenly Pope Francis arrives on the scene and he brings you back to your roots, the least among us, things that were focused on in my childhood. And then he says the astounding thing that right. we mentioned from the beginning when it comes to same-sex marriage, who am I to judge? This is a remarkable man and a remarkable leader of the church. Yeah, and it's a remarkable shift in tone, too. I mean, you know, uh, church teaching has not changed on a lot of things, but the tone, the approach, um, his attitude towards people, I think, you know, who am I to judge? A lot of people dismiss that as unimportant. I think it was very important. Yeah. And I think it marked a watershed for a lot of people who <laughs> felt judged uh, by the church and who now, are you saying, uh, feel very welcome. And then you get that you get his specific actions with other cardinals. Is mm -hmm. it, uh, Cardinal Burke, Cardinal Raymond Burke, very conservative, uh, in, opposed the Pope verbally, vocally, head of the Vatican Supreme Court, gone. Yeah, he is not afraid to uh, make changes. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who knows him says, uh, this man is not afraid of anything or anyone. And, uh, you know, they're very, uh, I just um, finished a couple books, uh, reading a couple books on him, and he had a very difficult time in Argentina. He had to deal with the junta there. So this is someone who's very savvy, very political, at the same time, very prayerful uh, and very open. We have two